Sharks, boy, just that name puts fear into a lot of people. They're afraid to go swimming. They think they might see one of these. Hi there. Oh, hello. Are you talking about me? Actually, I am. I'm talking about sharks. I'm a shark. Yeah, you are, but you're a little one. Do you know sharks have been around for over 400 million years? And when people think of sharks, they think of those big ominous creatures like the great white. But there's actually only 39 that are over 10 feet long. Yeah, hey, most of them are like me. I'm kind of little. Yeah, you are. But you have all of the attributes of a real shark. We're going to be drawing a shark today. And we're going to be looking at their shape. I look like a tahito. Yeah. And they have gill slits and they have a dorsal fin. And teeth. Oh boy, do they have teeth. Teeth. Yeah, they got a lot of teeth. They got like five rows of teeth. And look at mine. Well, we're going to look at them later when we draw them, okay? All right. So, let's pick up our pencil and we're going to draw. All right. Shark. That's what we're going to draw today. And I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about it too. For this lesson, we need number two pencil with an eraser, sheet of white paper, our simple pan of watercolors, can have a three-quarter inch flat, a small number four round brush. I've got my models. Shark teeth, check this out, megalodon tooth. These guys were over 65 feet long. Makes a great white look like what? A little pet mackerel? <laughs> okay, so you got your models, your books. I've even got my friends, the puppets here. We're gonna draw sharks today. Let's go. Ready? Let's go. We're going to draw an attacking shark. That's a shark that's ready to go after its prey. So we're going to start off, we're using a long piece of paper. We're going to make an oval that's kind of on an angle going that direction. So we got this oval. Now coming back here, we're going to make a triangle. Then we're going to put another triangle right on the tip of that. Come up a little down from the front and another triangle. So we've got our oval. Triangle here, triangle there on the tip, triangle up here. Now come back about halfway here and we're going to make just an arch line that goes across. So here's our basic shapes. Triangle, oval, triangle, triangle, a line here. Now see where this line is? Another line here and right here. We're going to do another one like that. Okay, those are our basics. Now let's come in and start filling it in. This is the tip of the nose. We're going to round it. Come down, make a little blip for the eye. Come down some more, right to there. This side, come down. This is the top of the mouth. We're gonna come up, come down to this, right to there, come down, and then see where this goes out? This is gonna be, that's one fin. Come up here, there's the other fin. Now follow this down to here. This side, we follow it down, not all the way to the point, stop a little in. Come out to the end, that's going to be the tip of the tail, which is longer than the other side. Find the center, come in, come out, not as long, and bring it up to there. We have the outside of our shark. Now we're going to use our eraser, get rid of some of these extra lines. You know, and if you drew it nice and sketchy, it's not too difficult to erase. And you can see the shape our shark has. Pretty cool, huh? Much better than just a boring swimming shark. Because when the sharks attack, they get pretty violent. And they take on these different postures like this. Right in here, we can put the eyeball. They have a very good sense of smell. We put our nostrils there. Bring the belly up a little bit here. Put in a line up here for the lips, because they do have that. Now for the teeth. Five rows of teeth. Let's go. Let's just do some sharp areas right through there. Let's bring them up on this side. We're only seeing really one row here. Coming down here, he's got a couple more fins. One here, one there, one inside there. You can round this a little. If you want, you can show a little bit of the splashing water around him. And there he is. We can shade him in if you'd like.
Okay, start off, move your hand in an oval, do our oval, the back we do a rectangle, a big triangle, and then in the front, another triangle. Find the center of your oval and make a line. Okay, that's where our dorsal fin's going to go. Now in the front here, we're going to take this and bring it back here to the oval, come up just a little bit. We're going to kind of round that, come up, follow our oval down to our rectangle, up to the tip of our triangle. The vertebrae actually, it's made of cartilage, it extends all the way to the tip of the tail. That's how they're able to just kind of move that tail and swim. The mouth is underneath. We're going to round this. We're going to come right about to here. Now if you were to bring a line just down about like this, this is where, coming out on another triangle here, that is where that nice pectoral fin is. They have the two of them. They're almost jet shaped. And we're going to follow this up to here and out. But not all the way. This one's going to extend up. We find our center, bring it in and down. They also have a couple other little fins. We're going to put a little triangle here, a little one here, and another one there. Take your eraser, erase your guidelines. You should have the pretty good shape of your shark. Very simple shape. They glide through the water. They're very hydrodynamic, pushing with that tail. Now let's take this dorsal fin, make it a little taller, and move it back just a little bit. And right back here, we're going to put in our one, two, three, four, five gill slits. Our mouth comes back, and the eye goes right about here in the center over there. If you want, you can put in the lips and a few of those teeth. And we've got a pretty good look of our swimming shark. Now, where do we find these sharks? Well, people usually see them cruising above the water to where that would be the top of the water. But they're often around the bottom, so let's just put in a big rock formation behind it. You could even put some sea urchins back there if you want. And a little bit here, and that shows that they do smooth, smoothly swim along the bottom. We can put some color on this, or you can just add a little more shading. But there we have, our swimming shark.